Hello, Mega Safety First here. I am going to show you how to safely drive up a car ramp. These are the ramps that I have. They are made out of steel. Some others are made out of plastic. I do not use that kind, because I personally do not trust them very much. I always think of scenarios like, what if they got damaged while they were stored someplace or if the plastic gets brittle over time. And you definitely do not want a ramp to collapse while you are lying under your vehicle. Yeah, but anyway. So I start out with parking the vehicle with the wheels lined up perfectly straight. And then I push the first ramp right up to the tire like this. Make sure to align the ramp with the vehicle as you can see here. This allows you to later drive up the ramp without coming off track and eventually slipping down on one of the sides. Another thing that you can see now is if the ramp works for your car. In case your vehicle is relatively low, then your front bumper might eventually already touch the ramp. In case the bumper already or almost touches the ramp, then do not try to drive up there, because you can cause some serious damage. Now here is one safety feature I would like to show, that some people might need. Because for example on a slippery garage floor it often happens that the vehicle pushes the ramp forward instead of driving up. So if you use something like a 2x4 between the ramp and for example the garage wall, then this will prevent the ramp from slipping. Now that we are done with the one side and we repeated this on the other side, it is time to drive up the ramp. Take it really slow when doing this. And make sure you do not overshoot. When you are really unfamiliar with ramps, it might be useful to have a spotter that can tell you when you are all the way up. But I am not quite done yet. Now I first place a jack stand under the frame of the vehicle. In case there is a problem with the ramp, then this will make sure you do not get crushed while working under the car. And I also place a block behind the back wheel so that the vehicle cannot accidentally roll back down. So these are the steps I am going through before working under the car. I hope these tips were helpful and be safe.